Let's take a moment today to thank the boldness of our government and our shareholders. William Hamilton built his venture in the ashes of the Second World War. The copper mine he envisioned was ransacking the First Nations' ancestral territories, drawing the wrath of the local people. It definitely took nerves of steel to stay the course despite all this hostility. Before long, in the face of William Hamilton's cold and uncompromising stance, the petitions and peaceful protests turned into sabotage, vandalism, and other criminal acts. The industrialists' private properties also encountered the wrath of the demonstrations. Carl Faber, a veteran of the Korean War, was hired from Montreal as a private detective to shed some light on this whole thing. But at the end of his journey to northern Quebec, the detective did not only encounter property damage, he also came face to face with the corpse of William Hamilton. The strangeness only kept building throughout the investigation. A powerful, unseasonable blizzard hit the region. Bodies frozen and unbreakable ice appeared. The local fauna began to act strangely and aggressively. Carl Faber began to doubt his own sanity. The detective felt the weight of a gaze as if he were at the mercy of a powerful, feral creature, waiting for the right moment to attack. Carl's fears were taking over, overpowering his reason. He was giving into delirium. It was becoming increasingly difficult to think. He thought the dark waters of the lake would shield him from the images he was being confronted with. From there, he had a renewed hope in civilization, or whatever was left of it. knew that on one of these shores stood William Hamilton's lavish mansion, and there the detective had hopes of finding a way out of the area. A phone, a truck, and who knows, under the luxurious paneling and damask carpets, he might be able to find answers to his questions. The detective wondered about the floating debris. Had it drifted out from the shore? or had it been abandoned there in the middle of nowhere? Carl saw a boat in the distance, clearly piloted by one of his own. Had he finally made it to civilization? His hopes were immediately drowned out by the sounds of gunshots. Time to flee again, and fast. stroke was desperate. The icy water in his wounds made him feel weaker and weaker. He had to get to shore. Bleeding and the hypothermia were tearing at Carl's poor body. When he finally saw a light in the distance, he was filled with a faint sense of hope. Could it be a refuge?
The journal was the rock to hold on to in a rushing waterfall of memories, a tool Carl was happy to have back. Carl struggled to wake up. His makeshift bandages offered him little time. If he wanted to find the truth, he had to get to Hamilton Manor without delay. Carl left his makeshift refuge. He knew where he was going, a more comfortable but otherwise unsettling place, Hamilton's mansion. A majestic residence could be seen from afar. It overlooked the area like a fortress. Was it really the mansion? Carl could hardly believe he was already so close to his goal. He knew that wolves do not attack people, but still, he had to be careful.
Carl tried to put the horror into perspective. Accidents happen, and in the inhospitable far north, it happens more often than not. Nevertheless, a feeling of deja vu stayed with him, as if the carnage was not over. What were these mysterious fragments, and why was there a warning about the mist? This letter raised more questions than it answered for the detective. This was the mansion of the late William Hamilton. No doubt about it. There was no other rich industrialist in the area to have a sumptuous mansion built in the middle of nowhere. Si vous entendez ceci, ce message est crucial. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à l'abri. Ne sortez qu'en dernier recours. Si vous avez à sortir, armez-vous et mettez-vous de quiconque porte les couleurs de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. 
ce niveau le plus loin possible de la faune. Les animaux sont devenus extrêmement agressifs. Je répète, tenez-vous le plus loin possible des animaux et méfiez-vous de quiconque porte les couleurs de la AMC. Si vous entendez ceci, ce message est crucial. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à l'abri. Ne sortez qu'en dernier recours. Si vous avez à sortir, Added to the mayhem was violence. Carl understood that a tragedy had occurred here. Carl was overcome with a strange emotion. The crossword puzzle was in French so he guessed it was the work of a Hamilton employee, and not Hamilton himself. Carl was overcome with a strange emotion. The crossword puzzle was in French, so he guessed it was the work of a Hamilton employee, and not Hamilton himself.
Carl could feel his muscles weakening, his breath wheezing, his body going numb. What was happening to him? The floor was rocking. The walls seemed to be running from Carl's hands as he tried to steady himself. Something was not right. Carl knew how eccentric older millionaires could be, with more money than they know how to spend it, but never could he have imagined such a sophisticated puzzle. 